hello, 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 and welcome to Julia the Jewel Design. And here we are today with a new weird project. <laughs> no, not a weird project, but definitely on the fly. Have a general idea what we're going to do today using a number of little things that um, I've been stockpiling. As we stock the shop, I stock my supplies personally, and I thought it was time to try to create something, um, probably ephemera based. Um, to put in the shop, to make, create, share with you guys, all that jazz. Um, I believe me and Lorette had, when, you know, um, great minds think alike, uh, she's working on a ring, ring binder, um, not binder, a ringed journal using, uh, paper sandwich bags. So she's making like a pocket page ring journal. So it's funny, at the same time, I think, well, I want to use bags. But I wasn't thinking of a journal for once. Usually it's the opposite. I'm always working on journals. She's working on ephemera. So I'm working on ephemera this time. And I am taking a number of things that we have. As you sort of see, I'm sort of putting, trying to keep them clipped together. So we used to have, um, we're out at the moment because they were just very limited, some decorative sandwich bags, right? I love the floral, love the colors for summer. I'm thinking about folding it up. So the back side, instead of having it fold over or wrap around a page, it's going to fold up from the bottom. And so we are going to build it as if you would fold it up through the bottom. It's going to sit in the middle of the page. So when you flip it over, I'll put a little hole punch, we'll put a little decor, but this would be glued down here to make it a pocket, right? Okay, this is something that's definitely going to stay on the page. You might be able to paper clip on the bottom, but I don't think it'd make it very sturdy. So it'd be something that we would suggest that the inside back page here would as if this was its other side you know we'd be centering it and you know it's going to be glued down here i'm gonna have my thumb notch here and we're going to decorate a little bit on the front so that's an automatic large tag whatever pocket this side on the other hand though we're going to leave the bag open i'm probably going to put a new punch in it maybe but i'm going to do sort of an accordion style bag option here i'm thinking it about putting these things askewed these are a number of our bags um we have the glassine bag big medium i guess maybe me small to medium to tiny glassine bags okay we use the tabs tabs on the top so we've got one layer we have a little it is a lunch bag itty bitty mini lunch bag isn't that cute we have it we do have a set of these um i think these two and another one very similar to this and a really yummy paper um so we're going to do this one here, and I think we're going to leave this open as a pocket or try to utilize it as a holding spot for layering. We put this one here, and then we have three coin envelopes. And again, I tucked all the tabs in so that they are out of the way, because I don't think we want to use them. And again, everything's going to open up to put small embellishments, small ephemera to larger ephemera. But each one of these is sort of layered on top of the other one. And I think we're going to use a double-sided sticky tape in the middle of each one as it gets, gets stuck to the next one so that if you sort of, you know, had the book up, everything would sort of accordion open, right? That's the goal, at least. That is our goal. So you could pull it out a little bit and pull out whatever was inside it. So... This is probably concocted in my head from a number of things. No clue if someone else has done this. I am not taking full credit for it, but I'm also not saying like someone else did it or someone else didn't do it. I am just making it good. Now, as we go along, we're going to make sure that our bags, when they're at an angle, stay inside the, the frame of a page um, because I don't want them sticking out. I want to make sure that we, if we put this on a uh, standard, what we stand, standard mm, eight, eight and a quarter by five and a quarter page, it's going to fit. We want to make sure that it's always going to fit. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we're going to do today. So today we're using scrapbook paper. Um, it might come down to some digital paper if I just can't find what I'm looking for. I need a little scrap of something. But the goal is to, you know, and then end with this, that we will put a pretty, you know, this will have a pretty fussy cut of some sort, whether it comes out of one of the kits. Paper clip will not stay here. I'm just trying to do it to keep, like, the angles of what I love. So I think like our brown is going to stay level, all that jazz. So my thing today is figuring out, do I cover the paper, completely cover each one of these the way we want it with the paper that we want? 
probably, because even as an accordion, if we do pull it out some, you're going to see what's underneath it. So we can't just zigzag cover this because we're not perfectly gluing everything down. So yeah, I think we need to cover each page with whatever, except for this one. This is going to have a pretty fussy cut and lace for sure. Well, you know, maybe we'll put lace on edges and corners and pieces that we can see. All right, so it's a two-part deal, minimum. Let's cover the, the, the bags today. Then we know what to to glue together, right? Sticky, double sticky tight together. And then push comes a shove and we start we start decorating next week. Or not next week, next video, which could be next week. It, I'm hoping you guys see this Tuesday night. You know, that's what we're hoping for. It is Tuesday morning for me and it took me all morning to even get this started because my darling little quiet cul-de-sac wasn't so quiet today. Oh my gosh, we started off first thing this morning before I even got the kids off and running. They were, um, one of my neighbors was having their hat, their, their, we have to make sure we don't want to decor parts, right? I'm like, mm, I think just laying that in somewhere as a layer might be nice, but we have to keep that in mind. Um, they were having one of their trees, um, like tr trimmed. And of course the guys came with the mulchers. So the big old machine, super loud. I was like, oh my God. So I came home, dropping out the girls. Luckily they were gone. Okay. So what I want to do is here, let's. I won't talk too much here until I get down to the gluing part. How's that? All right, so I love this. We're using this as our color board. We'll see a little bit in the background. It won't be super obvious except for when you pull away. Again, when you, we do our accordion thing and pull away, it's great. Now, I do notice that because it's open, I think I'm going to leave it because I think you could stick something in the front. You could stick something sort of in the backside using these guys, these little gussets as sort of divide, you know, dividers. You could put two journal cards or two pieces of paper folded in here. And if we glue it down on each side, then you have a, a third, like this is almost a three po three pockets by itself and we don't even have to do anything to it. So I don't think I'm gonna do anything to this. Normally I close this all down and make it really tight and I'm like, no, I think we want multiple pocket options since we are using up a, you know, a full piece of paper that we can't write on. So, but this is my color scheme that I'm working with. And so I found a couple books um, that I was hoping to pull some colors from to help with this. I think I saw the green because it's already distressed, which is awesome. Here in camera, yes. Um, could do the red. That is more holly and that's polka dots. So we have to see like throughout all of this, like uh, purple is pretty, but not for this one. Um, I was thinking about the teal. I mean, that is the green there, teal, and it helps a little bit, but that is very much lime green. We've got the darker, I guess if I want, I could go the darker green. If I wanted to, I need to do some contrast to go with, um, I'm going to get the pink one already pulled out too. So maybe we'll just pull it out to be safe. Do I want too much polka dot? Hmm. All right. So potentially red or there. Okay. We have two colors there. Because so I have one, two, three, I would say four. Like we have this one that we don't see a lot of it. We do see corners of it. Something on the front end, we do have to cover this full page, right? This one definitely needs to be covered because we see a lot of it. This one, I almost could do two different things. We could do one in the back and one in the flap on the bottom because it is, you know, we're, we are seeing a lot of it. I was thinking about tucking this one in here just to keep it height instead of going down lower. But then again, I'm thinking this brown one and this brown one are going to be straight on to the page. So like anything else is askew, but the, this brown one and this brown one here is gonna both be straight on. So brown, 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 all straight on. But then we're going to do, you know, that slight angle. Cause stacked is usually not, somehow it's, it's askewed a little bit somehow, right? So we want to, this is where I was like, mm. so I do it way down here. It does give us, a little bit more height there. And this one, I think that this one needs to be up a little bit. Now this one, I definitely want to cover it, but I do want to see a little bit of the yellow on the outside. I don't, you know, I don't want too much not showing. Okay. So we do that. Yeah. I really wish we could hold these down and still cover them at the same time. Right. But then the goal again is to have this one straight on with this, try to make these all level. And then you have that. So I'm this one. Yeah, I think when we're, we go to do it, we're going to want to pull it up just a little bit. Right. Making sure that this is sort of centered to this. This is sort of centered to that because it's centered on the page. So a little bit here, a little here, a little bit here, but not so far out that we can't keep it within the frames, within the confines of a page. 
Now, if you got it and it really bugged you and it wasn't quite perfect, you could try to fold it back and you know, work on it that way. Yeah, I think I don't think it has to go in that pocket. So for this one, if that's the case, I could even flip it around so I have my hole and I could just glue down the back and that one would be, now in this case, this one I'm going to probably flatten down. I'm going to probably glue this one down to make it more stout. Um, we're going to glue the flaps to the front, there it has a hole punch, and we will glue this down in the back so that when it op when it accordions opens, it stays together. So we'll try that. Yeah, okay. But this one in the back, we're not going to do that. We're going to make that, you know, we'll make everything else just a single pocket ordeal. Okay, so we definitely have things to cover and we definitely have things to prep. Hope you're all doing really, really well. That maybe spring has sprung in your neighborhood. Um, the weekend as Sunday, as you saw, uh, you saw me on Sunday, and I think I was recording Friday or Saturday when I did that. But it rained all day Sunday. I mean, it rained all day Saturday. Uh, luckily, our event on Saturday ended up in house and in, indoors. Um, they got, they were smart. They were actually paying attention and went, oh yeah, let's not have a vending a vendors craft thing and performance out in the rain because it did it rained all day it started at three or four in the morning and it didn't stop till 12 or one and then we ended up with sporadic sprinkles on sunday so why not all right something like that okay so with that in mind we got to figure out if the top brown one is the only thing that stays and everything else is just we're using the edges of it edges of the white yellow and brown to see we need to see which ones. Now on that yellow one, could be red, because they look like the orange and the red would be pretty together, right? So that might be pretty on the yellow one. The green one, I don't know if it's big enough. That's the other thing. Is the red one even big enough to use from top to bottom? If I do it just right, yes. Hmm. Yeah, we could do red on the on the beige, or red on the red on the orange and green on the big one so the brown ones are not brown ones I don't know this is the this is the fun part I did not pick this part out this is where you get to work the process with me because we're trying to decide you know do I want two polka dots because I have one two three four five things get covered so we have an odd number so two polka dots and three patterns all to go along with this now this one was a 50 50 it depends I there's a lot of teal in here and I couldn't decide if there was enough teal in here to go but then again, see, that's really pretty, but it's, it's ooh, some of it's glaringly, uh, whatever. A little bit of some fancy fun things in here I probably could pull out and use, which is sort of fun. Old scrapbook kit, no clue where it, uh, well, I know where it came from to me, but it was, um, it's sort of pretty though. Um, it, I could do that because it's floral, big old butterflies. That's a lot of pattern and that we may not even see that much of that. So going really large in the pattern probably wouldn't do us any good. We need to keep the smaller patterns because we're not going to see a lot of it. Now, if I really wanted to pull teal, this would be the better one. Maybe to put on the big white one. Maybe we could do that one on the smaller one. The smaller, like I'm thinking the teal one here on top of this one. Then we could do something like that maybe on the smaller clear one. Let's see what else is in here. I think it only gets bigger. There were corners and stuff, but, you know, so it's just a different variation. I don't want to do any more brown because that really isn't going to help. Now, if I do, though, do that large teal swatch, I don't know if the forest screen would be beneficial. Like, we're seeing this, this, and then if we did the, well... It'd be nice and colorful. Red on the that green on the big one, but then that green is sitting on top of that teal. And then the red one is sitting on that. So it'd be teal, it'd be red, it'd be another red. Ugh. Yeah, see, then I was going to do the other red one here. Oh, no, it's not red. I take the back. It's green first. Oh, God. Mm. I don't know people and I just realized I'm like I'm running out of room I have stuff off to the side here for another project and I'm like eek all my little mini lookbook signatures are all cut and scored but I don't have them 
I gotta make a, I definitely have to make a, um, what's the word? I gotta make a cover for that. I gotta find a nice little hardback cover for that. Okay, sorry, I need room. All right, guys, this is where I'm gonna have room. So we're, it's sitting on top of that. Then it would be green. Mm, I don't know if I like that idea. Then it's a green one, right? Then it would be, see, then it's, it's still red on red. So that was what I'm like, oh no. Then I was thinking, where'd it go? That one with red on top of that. And then I have a white one that I need another pattern for. And then we have the brown. I mean, it's all in a white bag, but I mean, it's t green on top of teal. It's red on top of red. Usually you'd want to vary it, right? I like the red with the yellow because of the flowers, right? But even there, green and yellow are together. So I could flip it. But I think no matter what we do, because of, I got to have, actually, this white one has to be something completely different. So if we stuck to the green and the red where they were, I have to find it complete like a brown. Maybe one of the browns then, maybe on that one, because that's brown there. I could do the little the red here, red there. I could reverse it to where this one's on the white guy. This one's on the red. This is still on the back one. And this is on the big one. I just gotta figure out another pattern. There was nothing in here. Wasn't there a cream? Hold on. I know this is a Christmas kit, but there's enough neutral in it that, um, where's the beige? I saw a beige. Yeah, it looks like snowflakes. It really does, doesn't it? Ugh. Hmm. That big one, that big white one would have. Those are sort of all the colors, though, isn't it? Well, it picks up the green and a little bit of the lighter teal. That might be pretty on this one. I'm trying to sort of layer it so we can see. That was not the way to do it. I know. I'm just pulling it out. We have three florals. We have two polka dots with a big floral on the back. So it would be, this is how it would stack with the brown on top. And then I'd have to figure out how to get me something in one of these kits, the brown on top. So this would sort of be from that to this, to this, to this, to this, to this. To this. A little eclectic. But teal and green, neutral, or you know, red to red. And then this would need definitely, I'd have to fussy cut something. Now there are some pieces back here that are um, cornered. And I could probably fussy cut something out of them. Ten to one. There are these corner lots where I could cut, I could probably fussy cut something of this nature. Which you probably can't even see. There's a, there's a, there's a flower down here that I could fussy cut and glue on here. Like we could make that cluster. Teal, red, and green with hints of yellow, which maybe that's where we got. We definitely need to get some yellow floral in that. All right, we're, we're committing to this. That's what it is. I am not. We aren't going to um, mess around with it because I just don't want to, like, forget. So, okay. So we definitely want to, we're going to grunge this up a little bit. We're going to make sure everything's inked around the edges because we need to give us some, I don't know. We will fussy, we'll deck, 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 bleh. like we do with every other panel. And I like to do, I do like to, um, deckle edge stuff because it just allows us to see, it's like, lets the envelope, the bag, whatever we're using, be sort of the framework, the matting to the project. Now I am inking both sides of this, even though I know I'm not, we may not see it, but I think if when we do our sticker, at least to have some distressing on the backside would be great. We're leaving this open because we're going to want to see it. I don't know if I'm smart. I will make sure I have my thumb notches in it before we put it down. All right. So right now, ooh, that was, um, I'm going to go a little up and over because I want to make sure I have room to cut because we're not going to make sure this is per perfect. Are you recording right? Because that would be bad. So, okay, we can go here and we're going to go, let's see how far out, maybe middle. I want room to deckle off whatever I need and not be worrying about cutting it too tight. Yeah. Because I do not want to be good. caught. I know it's a little ex excessive, but then I can like deckle the two corners and then come up where I need to go and just know. And that's, that's a, that is a strip for de de decorating, which we're going to need a few things to tie in. Pa some of these papers are going to need to tie into the back on that pocket. So that's okay. 
here, so let's do this. We're gonna, oh, let's get the papers out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do that for that one so I don't forget what I'm doing. That needs a fussy cut. I guess we take this one off or leave it because it's gonna be over that. All right, onto the next page. This is the red one. Now it might be a little tighter on this one, but this one I can probably cut exactly and then deckle it all around. And we'll go a little excessive because I realize once you start cutting in, you may not have exactly what you're looking for. I mean, you can, yeah, it's probably best to um, cut nice little squares and things off so that you have clean the scraps later. Where's that? I'm like, where? Ah! Where'd that go? Yes, this, yeah, this was a Christmas, a mitten weather, mittens weather, mitten weather, mitten weather sounds funny, but it's a Christmas, it's a winter thing, but, oh, I love that, look, the purple snowflakes on that one, I didn't even realize that, that's really cute, I'll have to use that later, that'll be fun, okay, oh, but anyway, how are we all doing, thank you all so much for joining me, I know um, we have some new continued newbies we have some returning Cheryl hello welcome welcome back I know she got to do some binge watching the other day I was really stoked I was like yay um it happens we get busy we get overwhelmed we whatever and we have to do whatever we need to do so I'm glad to see some returning faces and um this little coin Envelope definitely has a little waxy on it. It feels like it's a little waxy. I'm having a hard time getting my ink on it. Hmm. But everything you see here is in the shop, um, bag-wise, not paper-wise, of course. These papers came from a friend who bought it from, you know, a, a paper crafter, a scrapbooker. Um, she was in uh, Creative Memories, and at one point someone was leaving the business, and so she had to add all the scrapbook paper and old scrapbooks and so every so often she goes through her slots and then she's like hey look what I found and she's like you want to come shopping so I do I come in and see what colors like I could use for any time of the year and look I mean this is both spring and I'm on the crack side you know it's both spring and um Christmas in a way and you know look what we're doing with it so we want to make on the crack side again we want some ink I'm doing everything vintage because I just want to keep it a little old looking and you know a little worn you know because everything is so new we need to make sure we deckle the not deckle ink and distress the edges of the now i guess with these the only thing we're gonna want to do <laughs> and here's changes because two of them definitely have this feel we may want to find the scraps from the from the reverse and sort of tab it right reinforce this top and make it a slightly tapped um, topper to it so that um, it, you know, isn't just sitting white. So we have to keep that in mind too while we're working on stuff. Plus it just makes it a little more stout and a little more stable. Because these things are great, but they are a little thin sometimes. Okay, so this one, we're only gonna stick to the bottom. And I pulled it out with that. Oh, that doesn't, some of these are perfect and some of them aren't, that is really weird. All right, so let's just cut this off. I don't need this part whatsoever, but it does have a hole in it, which is fun me that they do that to you. I'm like, really? Which, I'm going to put a hole in that one anywhere, so it may not matter, but I'm not going to go down the middle, that's for sure. So let's go to the edge of it for sure. Let's match it up, knowing that we're darn close, that we are going to cut a little off. When you deco both edges, you do lose some width. So if you do too much, you end up with an uneven sort of matting to the project. Okay, so see, we're, we're starting to see how things are lining up. Got a lot of red, it looks like. Oh, jeez. Feels really heavy on the red. But it's a pinky red to pull more than, you know. So let's get this strip doable, too. We're going to do the same thing because I'm going to use all these bits and pieces left over whether it's an opposite tab i love how they are edged they are sort of distressed on the edges whether it was on purpose or not i don't know the set may just be that way or it's been around that long i'm not sure which i think it's now nah, the way they're done some of these are done it's it's done on purpose so yeah they're pretty it's almost it's almost exact same project or same distress pattern so it's on the it's done when it's printed okay then we got the green 
Now this one we're going all the way to the top to reinforce it because it is sort of ripped. Um, and truthfully, I think we'll do it the other way. I think we're gonna we're going to glue it to the back. Do everything to the back, and the paper will be the thickness of the front. And we're gonna go across, and then I'll just re-punch the hole because it's got some rips, which is what happens, right? Okay, so let's do our inking. Oh, I, yeah. So I hope you're inking. So anyway, yeah, our spring is finally back again this week. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, we are. Uh, it was like the 60s and overcast, but like nice. It was like back and forth. Clouds went by, sun came out Monday, and it only got about mid 60s, I guess. So, you know, comfortable in the sun. It would get a little warm, but it um, definitely, you know, it's comfortable in the house type of deal. So I put out my outer patio back out since it stopped raining, and we're not seeing it, supposedly not seeing any rain for the week. We're actually going to see 80s on Wednesday. Uh, low 80s, um, 81, 82 degrees, which means we're only getting down to the 50, 50, I think 50 and 53 is like going to be our like lowest for a couple days in the morning, which I'm like, yes. The girls are like, oh God. And you're like, one of them goes, I have PE and I won't freaking freeze. And I'm like, yeah, that'd be nice. So, um, we're going to go all the way to the top. And the problem is that is not tall enough. Oh, shoot. Because it's a perfect paper. Well... I could put it down below and then we're going to see every act. We're going to see every aspect of it somewhere. So what I could do is put it down here. I do have a wider. Oh, I don't have any more wide. Did I finish off all my wide? I probably did. I have it everywhere. You know what? I have it sewn into a really funky. Um, I could take it out of that actually. What I could do is we could do the green up and then do the slice across the top instead of putting a hole punch in it. And that would help us hide, put lace on this one, and these guys would have paper tabs. That would sort of work, I guess. Something different, right? Yeah, I can I can get this one out. <laughs> I'm like, this one I'll do later. Yeah, Um, I was trying to play with this to see if I even liked it, and I was like, oh, I don't care for that one. That was funny. I was doing them for a project, and I was like, maybe not. So I'm like, I can pull that out. That is easy enough for me to pull out, because I think that's all I have left of this one. We have a few in the store of this newer... Um, well, not newer. I just happened to find it. And so I had some, used it all up, threw it in the shop also, but that's all I have left. So, okay, I will pull that out and use it. I will pull it out to remind me because that's a little too much for this. Like that's a lot of, and that would just get in the way. It, the pink is off too, but okay. You have to find ways when we are, when you're, um, what's the word? Stuck with what you got. You have to find ways to use it, right? And how do you blend it to make it look purpose? Like you did something on purpose. But this time I think I'm going to keep that dotted space way over there. Don't need it. It's going to look really nice on here, though. I'm thinking everything with the deckled and, the, and the, all the different inks, uh, inking, is really going to make a difference. So I think it's going to be a nice feel to the, the project. But I know a lot, um, a couple, God, it feels like forever ago. But I know when we first opened the store, um, I think it's Scrapbook With Me. She was doing all kinds of really pretty stackable envelopes. Um, someone else was doing stackable envelopes. What was the other one? Oh, I can't think of her name. I don't get a catcher very often. And she doesn't come up on my feed as often as I thought. Um, she sporadically comes up on my YouTube feed. If I can remember, who, if I can find out who, I'll do it. Um, but she was doing a really pretty stackable envelope, you know, fold open just for the top of the journal. And then when you opened up the whole thing, you had, you know, which we all love doing. It's stacking envelopes in bags as ephemera or onto, you know, the cover of a, of a journal cover just makes for a wonderful place to store ephemera. And then you have your journal sort of hiding inside it. So, but this is definitely an ephemera piece, large ephemera piece that's going to hold smaller ephemera. And it's going to probably come laid into the, I'm probably going to do it to where it is, um, you know, glued into the page already. Um, only because I just, the way it's all being worked, I have to, you know, if I want this, this last one to accordion onto something, I've got to put it onto like a coffee dyed page or something. And I'll probably put it on coffee dyed paper so that it's neutral enough that, you know, whatever you put it in, you can have a nice eclectic sort of springy, um, if you, know, you love these colors, you know, or you'd have something a little bit more tealy based and this red is always a red and green are great. Um, of course, complementary colors. So if you go pinky and you go teal, they still work really well. And, um, so it's something that I feel, um, you know, could be put into a, a journal that you have. It's something that you're like working on a journal and you're like, oh, that would be great for it. And I haven't sewn in the, I haven't sewn in the cover yet. 
or sewn the signature in yet, because that's going to be the other thing, you could sew this page in that I gave you. I know it does limit it a little bit, I guess, or I double-sided it. Like, I mean, I prep it, I guess, and with instructions, and you just remind you of how you could use it, I guess. And I could have, you know, double-sided tape on the back page. Whoops, it's not cut both pages. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't decided. I want to lay it down for you guys. Um, Rhoda does that. She makes a lot of really pretty pages where, I mean, it's for her own journals, but she, you know, makes pages, ephemera pages, and then when she needs to, she goes and grabs them and puts them in certain journals. So, you know, I don't know. I guess if it's neutral enough, you can do that. So, I don't know if this is neutral enough. This definitely has some, it has some kick. It has some pop, and I love it, but we have to decide. So anyway, I'll work it through because what I was saying is then what I might just do is give you double-sided tape here, leave this side, of course, taped the tape on it so it doesn't stick to anything, um, have this decorated up ready to go, and you could just bring it across top. I sent it to you prepped and ready, but it's up to you to decide if you want to maybe glue it down. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. I get very wishy about that. I'm like, oh, I don't want to like not, you know, I don't want to be like limit you guys to any one thing, but sometimes having something done and finished is sort of nice too, right? <gasps> Oops, we haven't. All right, so that page has nothing to be done to it. This one's ready to go as it is, and all we'd have to do is actually ink. Let's ink it a little bit. It's a little white, right? Let's um make this a little lighter or a little older. I want to get the basics done today. I really want to get all the pages on. Let's get it taped in place. And then we know how to decorate it because we'll know exactly where everything lays. Because you can't decorate it if you don't know where things are going. Um, you know, and you decorate something and then you got to put it down and you're like, whoops, that doesn't work anymore. Let's ink everything up and we'll start gluing everything in place that we need and getting things, you know, ready. So this one definitely needs its hole punch still but this one we're going to probably glue more together now that I think about it and we need to do the prep work on this one first beforehand because we don't want to have to do it like in a mid stride that would just be really hard so it is a little waxy um a lot of the bags more and more are having sort of a feel so I am going to glue all of the oh That bottom of that bag is wide open. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we've had these for a little while. But I was like, um... Ha! That one came, it's came unglued sometime throughout the year. All right, then. Oh, who knows? Okay, we'll glue everything down so that it stays in place. And um, I am going to use the glitter glue just because it is a... I mean, it's a little water soluble, but it should help with all the different textures, maybe. In case there is some waxes, there is some. Then again, though, I did notice the other day, glitter glue was working better than my my fabric tech because it was almost too much wa like water soluble on wax. What I was doing, I was doing. What were we doing? We were doing some other oh, vellum. Yeah, I was really shocked. I wasn't expecting such resistance. Resistance. Yeah. So I don't know if I, I probably mentioned it, but yeah, we're coming up on. Um, if you're new. I guess um, me and my daughter are going on a grand adventure. I think it went 70 days. Very soon, before we know it, um, we get to do a lovely the World War, World War II and European trip. So there will be a point where if you are watching this and you are one of our loyal customers, um, I will have to put the store on, um, the, the, the supply store on vacation mode for two weeks. I have it all prepped. I'll have the dates as we get along on, but notes in the shop, letting you guys know, like when's the last day you can order something and get it shipped out before I leave. And then, you know, okay. So this is now, let's see, we need to, oh, what is up with my glue today? I think because it is outside. I've been, I was a good girl. I had everything ready, but it means I also stayed outside all day, all night. So hmm. it's not super cold out. It was actually, it was funny. Saturday was so cold. It was raining outside. So the garage was an, was just an ice box, and I had to have the heater on a couple times. And so our event really didn't take that much that very long. And so when we got home, it was just like, oh my gosh, I can't get warm. Um, and so I actually had the heater on a couple you know a couple times during the day. It was like mm, that's not my norm, but I just don't want to bring in more wood. And you know, for what a day or two, no. But then Sunday, it was actually colder in the house and warmer in the garage. 
And it had rained a little bit on and off, so it was sort of weird. Okay, so this is ready. Let's hole punch it because I do want that thumb notch. I want a nice little thumb notch so you know to put something in it. You know it's a pocket. Mm. You know me. I will keep papers. I like keeping those rounds. Let's get a little glue in there so it stays sealed because it's not really, you know, it's not a weird pocket. But yeah, so it's like, but I don't know how long it's been out here. I didn't think about that. I've been, I think I've been trying, I was trying to craft here and there and didn't quite get as much crafting done as I was hoping, but that's okay. I keep, do I keep falling down? It's not fun. Tripped over the Playhouse A-frame for the swing set. On Monday, so I have a new bruise. Oh, my goodness, I don't know what the deal is. I haven't been super clumsy in forever. Since I once had the kids, like the whole hormones sort of leveled out, and I'm like my everyday clumsiness like disappeared. I was like, oh sweet, I'm a mom. Of course, can't be clumsy, mom. Now they're getting older, and I'm my <clears throat> boy. So it was on the page. You would glue these sides down onto the page, and you have this nice pocket, and we will decorate this according to whatever scraps we have left over. Inside stays as is, and we're going to glue this whole pocket, you know, to it as we go along. So, all right, that is prepped and ready to go. This one needs, I think I'm running low, and that's what I meant to do. I keep meaning to order that. I do have an order to do. I did a personal Amazon order, but i got to do another personal work in order. I'm like, Amazon for my basic supplies. Oh, my goodness. At least try, right? Only because I can't afford, you know shipping more than I need to. I know I went to looking into to shipping bags and stuff for the for the store and I was like, okay, well it's cheaper than Dollar Tree. You know, all in all, but it's still like to they only you know packs of a hundred and I'm like, oh my gosh, that that's a commitment that scares you sometimes. You're like, I know I need them. I don't want to keep worrying about it every time all of a sudden you guys go do wonderful for us and you start ordering and I don't have what I need and then I'm scrambling and then I'm freaking out and I'm like, well I don't want to freak out for a while be nice to be able to just be able to take on the orders and, and get you guys what you need and not worry about it. Ugh. Dollar Tree and other things are just not always, you know, the right answer. And really, Dollar Tree is not. I mean, when things are individually a dollar, when I can buy a hundred at, what was it, like 56 cents a piece? I could, I could order 300 bags, different sizes, with shipping and tax, and it would still only cost me like 56 cents. And I was like, ooh, that is definitely the better deal. We're getting to that point where the business is past that point of scrounging to get it going. You're like, no, I think we need to start thinking more long term here. Which I have to thank you guys also very much. I know we talk a lot about it, but we can't help it. We're so we're happy with the great new adventure. And well, you know, it's our life. <laughs> I'm going to try to find the straight edges here, which are the two corners that eek. Hmm. I was like, I feel like I need to try to cut it. Okay, to go off the bottom. Where I want to make sure they're straight, as straight as I can. So we're just going to take a little bit off on the straightest. No, I didn't cut straight, so we're going to hope that the deckle will do it for me. Right? Haha. -ha. Because, yeah, I definitely did not cut straight. So as if I didn't quite cut straight. Ooh, that, that was a good piece. The other one, too skinny. This one, good. Um... Once you have those sort of straight, then you can sort of straighten out everything else, which, yeah, I didn't cut very straight. So we want to, because we're going to need some pretty scraps to pull that teal through. So these guys are definitely good to have and hope that not all of them, I'm not keeping every little scrap. All right. So let's hope that in the end, I need to do some, I can actually trim it down some more. Good. I want to make sure, and this is just my nitpickiness, that my matting all the way around is even. Like, I don't like where the, the sides are wider than the bottom, and there's too much. Oh, it upsets me when I can't get the right picture frame for things. I do diamond painting. Well, I did. I haven't done a diamond painting in way too long. But um, I uh, I don't like it when I go to frame my artwork, and I can't get an even frame around it. Oh, I either want no matting, or I want even. Like, I want a one inch all the way around, or, you know, I'm like, mm. Okay, so speaking of which, now i got to figure out where that's going to be. <sighs> Maybe right below that one. Gosh, let's hope. It's one of those things that's like a, a hedge, right? You, you keep going and you're like, okay, a little more over here, a little more over here. I'm pretty sure you have no, no hedge left over because you have trimmed everything off trying to make it even. There is a point you have to give in, but... Oh, no, I did really good with that. Okay. Woohoo! Yay, me! 
it's working. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I know, not super great, but I mean, it is the basics. It's my little pursuit process and what I nitpicky, my little nitpickiness wants, right? Pages that make sense, things that seem to balance. Um, you know, we got two polka dots, a solid, you know, three patterns, things like that. You're trying to keep to the evens and odd numbers, you know, and giving you a nice balance when you're creating something, crafting something. I'm going to go a little bit on in the white so we don't, I mean, I want a little white, but, okay. And then we'll have to decide this is a pretty long strip, which I don't have a lot of long on anything yet. Um, so I may have to cut a strip of something different for this top piece. So we'll have to see what we want to bring. I'm going to try this and see. I don't, because I, I don't know. But yeah, so you definitely have to keep an eye on Lorette, that um, sandwich bag ringed pocket journal, pocket page journal is going to be so cute. She has her favorite, like, ladies and things on it. So that's worth going to go check that out. Go watch that real quick. If you haven't already, if you don't know who Lorette Chandler is, um, this is rare. Most of you who watch me came over from her and watched me since she's my mother and my, my partner in crime and my crafty buddy and everything else. She's got a cute like I said, project going on. So we are just using our bags and our envelopes and we're enjoying... I think there is an up and down to that. I guess there is. Sort of, right? You didn't... You sort of look at it and go, that just looks upside down to me. Oh, that is sticking nicely. So let's see how this works. We might have to do a little glitter glue around the edges as we go along to see how that works. But... Okay, I'm just gonna... Where's my hair? Making sure we have in the back side so we don't rip anything, but yeah, I do so. These mm, bags are, hmm. We're definitely gonna get a little good, get some, get some glue in there. Making sure we're sort of gonna seal things to make sure that when we later, when they're pulling on things, they aren't coming up. You don't want anything coming up, and I see I do have pressure going on here. There we go. Yeah, it's one of the things if I could, if I could order while I was talking to you, I would stop for a second and I would put my fabric tack order in place because yeah, I love our sugar bell bottles but the moment they get start getting low they are they're soft but they're temperamental you have to wait for everything to drop in like drop so I have to leave it on the side I know some ladies do leave them upside down completely but mine would completely like I'd have so much goo on the bottom I'm not sure how that works maybe put the tab on it but leave it upside down maybe that's to keep the tops on them I don't know okay so first one done so wait when we got ready we step it down you're not going to see much of the red. I guess it is. I mean, it's there, but it's not. So I think it's okay. If you did something differently, where you, if you paper clipped it in, you would see this backside. That is your cover. That is your pocket on the back. So it's okay. I think it's, it just gives us something in case you see it in spots. I think it's going to be all right. Okay. One down. Five to go. No. Yeah. Sort of. All right. All right. So let's, now this is pretty much, I think we'll keep it to what we're doing. Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. No, but yeah, um, so yeah, rained. Got through our, the girls' performances. They hadn't done it in a while, so they were a little rusty. Um, I mean, they were. Pra I mean, they had been practicing. It's not that they haven't, but um, I won't cut too much off of this because yes, the sides are great, but we are coming up short. Remember, so we're not going to cut too much off of this one. Um, but they, you know, they did it two or three times, and you know, most people. It was right in the beginning when the. The event first opened, so there really wasn't a lot of people around. They we, they were just sort of the warm up act, and those you know to entertain the vendors while we you know and the parents while we were waiting for things to get going. And so I really hope that the that vending vending uh, the vendors there had a good time. It was a five, you know four and a half hour event in with the rain. Hopefully not hindering too many people. I really hope people came out. We bought some um, freshata no yeah freshata based cinnamon rolls. Oh, they were oh, so yummy. Oh my gosh, they were just, mm. and uh, I bought a birthday present from, a birthday present for, you know, one of my girls, one of my, my, one of my BFFs, her birthday is next, and um, so I was like, oh, you know, that works, um, and so, and what else, um, oh, and a pretty, she uses it for a little girl's headband, but the flowers are gorgeous, I don't remember where I put it, like, do I have it out where I can see it, probably not, I'm going to show it to you guys, it's going to go on a journal, for sure. Oh, so soon. Um, it's creamy. It's a pretty um, peachy cream. And she had one other that would have been gorgeous for fall. Oh, my gosh. So I'll probably use the headband, maybe to wrap around the cover. 
or I'll just cut it up, cut it and, you know, have a longness to it. What did I do with it? I wanted to show, I could show you guys. Oh, who knows? Oh, maybe it's over here. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked, but I want to show you. It's so pretty, but I don't know what I did with it. I don't know. Oh, there's so much up here, like I said. Um, oh, okay, in the next round, I'll have a look for it and I'll have to show you guys. Like, where did I put it? You would think I would have put it somewhere. Oh, there it is, duh. I would have remembered, right? Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, the card's pretty too, don't get me wrong. It's slut, so you can do whatever. But anyway, it was this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's felt and mesh. She cuts them, glues them, you know, pearls. The headband is, you know, but depending on the journal, I think we could wrap it around the journal, right? So then on the inside of the cover, that would be a tuck. Like I could even expand on it or use it as a really light tuck. So I thought this would be gorgeous. I have to, now I gotta find a kit to go with it, right? Am I either mine or someone else's? But anyway, that was, um, that was a find. I was like, oh, and 12 bucks wasn't bad. I mean, I don't want to do all that felt work. I don't want to do all that. So she had a really gorgeous fall couple, like a red and green one for Christmas. And then she had definitely one more in the burnt oranges and stuff for fall, which would have been really pretty too. But I'm like, oh, I, mm, then I'd be going through a phase of like, I don't know. But I thought the peach one would be pretty for summer. I'm bound to, ha I'm bound to have a kit that I could work with it probably 10 to 1. I have one. Okay, so all I have to do, I'll, have to, I'll get prepped and ready for the next run. Oh, that's what we needed to do. So what did we decide? We were going to, I am going to use, I think, the glitter glue really quick on this one. we got to get that flat. And then we need to, we need to reinforce this. Because if we're going to put, you know, a piece of tape back here that's going to allow this to open up every five seconds. Because see, what I didn't end up doing was getting this reinforced up here like I was hoping. And I can't completely... So I'm going to reinforce it backwards. I can't cut it because then it opens up. The lace on the top should help. Okay. Sorry, guys. I am, you know, hemming and hawing a little bit. It's a little hard when you do have the bags and you're not using them at their full capacity because they're not a flat bag. You do sometimes have to decide which way to go and how to reinforce that bag into a flat pocket. Um, I do it with our, we do it with our pharmacy bags. You know, you do sort of lay it down. Hold on. I did realize that I got glue in the wrong, on the wrong side on one of these. I'm getting in here and I know you guys can't see. I'm, but I got something on the wrong side. So make sure. Get your tool. And then I'm, I'm literally going into that tongue, into that gas, gasket, whatever it is. And trying to flatten it some. Um, trying to... This is still open at the moment because we do want it to accordion open. We need enough so it will open to be an accordion like thing, which may be what I can't do. Well, yeah, I won't really accordion. I don't want it to rip. So we want it somewhat open, but we don't want things to get caught in it. So this is going to be interesting. I may, this is where I'm like, mm, let's see. We definitely have to use that lace on the top to help thicken up our header piece here. Okay. Using the glitter glue because it's fast and, you know, down and dirty. Hopefully not gluing anything else together. It's not supposed to be glued together. There we go. Okay. Come on. Where are you? Oh, right there. I'm like, what is sticking that's not supposed to be sticking? I knew there was a spot where I didn't have what I needed to have. Okay. Now, some of these we might have to decide to put some extra... I might have to do some reinforcing here into where we can get maybe a little extra coffee dyed or something to make this more doable, but I won't know until I do it. So if I, once I glue it down, I, that'll be said sticky tape, it's done. All right, so technically all I did was glue, glue this flap in the back together. So when the sticky tape's here and you try to, you open it up a little bit to look inside and grab whatever, we still have some, you know, accordion feel. Didn't glue it all the way down. Just glue the back flap because I want to make sure it stayed flat. We don't have any more weird pudginess. My glues are disgusting. What the heck? And I'm about to glue all over the place on this other one. Eek, I have a lot of pressure. I don't know it's hot and cold. See, big old clump. And the thing is that gets sort of hard after a while and it doesn't even, it's really sticky. So when I opened it up, it didn't really do me a lot of good because it all it's all sitting here. So it wants to escape. So rude. Rude, rude, rude. Okay. But number two is now, and that's going to go straight up and down. 
So that's going to be pretty. I think it's going to be really pretty. And I think it's going to be an awesome piece. I just have to stop second guessing myself and just do it, right? It's okay. I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing in general for the basics. It's okay. It is a craft. It is a journal thing and being a junk journal concept, even though we're using newer things. Um, you know, it's perfectly imperfect. It is, it's handmade. It's crafted. It's not, I'm not, uh, you know, mass producing it with some machine. It's all me. It's all me. Okay. So how's this one coming out? Way too big. Maybe? Yes. Mm, that's really tight, but I'm, it's actually almost perfectly. So if I try to do anything, it's going to come. It's going to have issues. So we are going to leave it. We're going to not look a gift horse in the mouth. And we're going to run with it. Okay, since you still want to keep gooing, we're going to keep using you then. All right, there we go. Normally, I would do the paper and then glue this down. But because usually you want you want all the glue on your paper so the paper sticks to every crevice. But I'm sort of weird and backwards and... I do the thing I'm gluing onto. Why? I do not know. Probably why my corners sometimes don't stick. Because I go... But then I just go back with, with the glitter glue. I really do. Go all the way to the bottom. Now these, yeah, I'm not... Um, come on, okay. Yeah, I think the ones with the tabs, I'm not going to put the holes in them, I don't think. I don't know. We have to decide that, huh? I have to decide, because I don't know if we're putting holes in any of this stuff. I think they're all going to be pretty solid so that they're, you know, straight down. And where things do... Oh, that is the one side. If we don't have it to the edge, um, they don't pop up as easily because they're not being pulled from. So that's okay. So let's reinforce this corner too since we didn't do that earlier. Because trying to get in there and, and gluing it later, you can to a point because you know exactly what's the problem once you're doing it, but... Okay, well that one's done and cute. So we're building. Every time we do it, we go a little here, and that's a direct on, and then a little here. I think it's really cute. So those who like your green and red and teal and pink, this is definitely going to cover all those bases. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, different colors, right? I've been, let's see, what have I played with? I've played with roses and pinks. I've played with, which one's next? This one. Okay. Um, we've done, let's see, I've done the blue, I've done the purple, I've done the rosy pink and green. A lot of pink and green and purple lately. So I'm like, well, let's pick. I'm still the same colors, I guess. I'm like, I guess I'm still doing all the same colors. I just realized my top here is very, hold on, is getting very flat. For distressed and I'm like nope I want I'm using the bottom sorry for up here for some reason he has a flat edge to start off with which doesn't make a lot of sense to me I think it has to, maybe it has to get started I don't know but then you have you know it's not really deckled all the way down it's semi deckled in a spot and like well if you're working with a small piece it's not really great we want to have you know all right so a little bit of this red might actually still work mm. Yeah, take the garbage out. Okay, so I remember, but I do want to be able to see this yellow. So if this is too big, which it is. Um, I definitely want to see the yellow because that's going to pull for some of those colors. So I'm going to want to deck all that line there and inside that line there. So one at a time here, so I don't get confused in what I'm trying to do. Oh, otherwise, I'm going to like forget, which is what I happened. I meant to released some products to you guys yesterday and didn't remember till nine o'clock last night. And I went, ah, <sighs> oh well, it's the air. Got new doilies and linens, books, glue sticks and glue bottles. Um, let's see what else. So we want to go inside that line. All right. Um, what else? We have a uh, paper bag and, and fabric ribbon ruffles that Lorette made. She's really good at it. They're imperfect because they're not made with a with a ruffle foot, which she does an awesome job at them without having a sewing ruffle foot thing. So I was like, oh, 
I try, as you saw my my cockeyed uh, weirdo. You know, I do it by hand, but uh, I get too big on them sometimes, or too small. I don't know which. Yeah, this is my idea of trying to do a ruffle, right? And I'm like, okay, small, large, 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 small. Mm. It's a mess. Okay, so do we have a nice... Yes, I want to see that yellow. It gives us a... Pull some of that yellow from the background. There we go. I'm going this way. Ah, this is very more papery, so let's see if we can do this. Plus, my glitter glue is fuller than my... I'm still trying to get to the edge. Sometimes I can do it. Of course, I'm rushing, so it's like I don't do as well on my, my gluing on the edges here. Eek. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope that your crafting is going well. I hope that you're enjoying everything you're doing in whatever spring mode you may be in or summer or actually some of you are on the other side of the hemisphere here and in, in fall, which is so weird. I know Joey is in Australia, so he's in he's into fall. So as we head into spring and summer, he goes into fall and winter. Yes, I know, so different. I'm like I have to think about it. I'm like, wait a minute, he's doing it. It was always funny because he'd be like, yeah, I'm doing. You know, he's designing cute Christmas things, and it's you know really warm. I'm like, oh, that's right. Okay, so that's done. That one I might want to put a little hole punch. I hate to do it though because we don't have the yellow to keep bordering it with. So I don't know. Okay. So there's that one. I'm going to keep pulling it. That's going to pull you off to the side. Get my paper clips up there. Last one. Okay. So let's see. We definitely want to straighten it out. And I want to get that cut off first. So I have that. Maybe this one may be long enough for the other side. So let's see. Where do we want to cut that off? I need to straighten that out first. So let me do the other side then. Hold on. We got a deckle. And we got to cut. So probably right inside those circles. Mm, right outside those circles. Because I got to do this other side. We don't want to get it too small. So I want to go right inside those circles. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. With our eyeballing our measurements here. Because there doesn't seem to be any other way to do it. Why would we do it any other way? Alright. But that might give me what I need. Oh, it is. Okay, that makes it long enough to do that teal tap. Or that teal page tap. So I'll show you in a second. The big, the big, the biggest pocket we had had no, I didn't know what to put on the top of that one. Um, so I had the red dots to go on something else or whatever. So anyway, so that's there. So go around the edges and then we just need to go across the top once I'm done. Okay. Ah, my glues are open. I so know better. Not that I'm going to get right back to them. No, I don't know. So we're getting into the paper papers, so I'm not too worried about the... Hopefully I've been in camera most of the time. Well, cutting on the bottom here. Yeah, not so much, right? But... I'm just trying to use the Tim Holtz stuff, which, yeah, our, our thing is really getting... I use mine a lot, so it's getting dull. If anybody has any tricks of the trades on that one, let me know. And you want to, like, you go, I can move it up, but then you really change it all, and it doesn't mean you want to come loose. I know with, like, our circle punches and stuff, sometimes we can just put a couple layers of foil. Um, you know, fold up, you know, aluminum foil two or three times, not too much more than that. And you can, you know, try to cut holes out. Um, and that will sort of help clean up and, and, um, what's the word? Clean up and, so that went in a lot shorter than I expected. So we're just going to bring it up. We are definitely going to, being good as we get to the front. I could off-center it and put lace on it, but I don't know which way it's going to go, so I don't want to take a chance of not having it in the right spot. So, um, something of that nature. Okay. Now, folding it is not always the best way to do it, but you sort of need to find some spot to use. All right, another piece of scrap. Okay. just feel like that whole thing is off, too. Mm. Yeah, it's not centered to begin with. It's off. It's skewed for some reason. But if I cut that off, oh, well, yeah, Jenna, that's what I need to do. But which one's straight? If I go off that bottom, I think is what I need to do. If I center that, then yeah, it's it's that side. Okay, or off the top. Bottom? Bottom. Okay. I'm thinking, why are we off all the way around? 
That's why they didn't know it was a deco cutter. I did notice that some things sometimes get skewed, and I'm like, why is that not lining up? I think I have a tendency of shifting, and I don't see it. It's a blind spot, and I don't see the fact that it's... Um, sorry, guys, I didn't mean to hit you there. Um, I do love the fact that there is no that natural distressed ink in the in the paper. So inking it really just blends really nicely with it. It doesn't look out of place, so... That's been nice in all these papers. Okay. So this one's definitely a little bit more matted, but that's okay. Um, and because there's a top technically naturally to it, I can go a little farther to the top. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. But yes, definitely not a tutorial. It's a go, go along the way, match it to the the, the bags, envelopes, coin envelopes, whatever you got using, you're gonna, you're going to match your papers to your bags, however you like to cover them. Some people like to cover things perfectly um, because they're just like, nope. I feel like it's heavy when you go to the bottom. Um, that, you know, it needs to be perfectly covered and nothing seen. I like having the borders and the distressed ink and, you know, a little bit more patchworky type maybe feel I guess I don't know that's me personally so there's that yeah, I'm a little off that's uh, oh well it's okay I have to roll with it I have to learn to roll look guys we might be able to actually glue these down oh, okay we need to ink this a little bit now this is the one where we're actually not seeing I guess I could have turned a lot of these around and I didn't even think about that where but I wanted that slightly indent here to be seen so you could tell that you could get into it. This is the only one you can't tell that you can get into. Um, and because of the way it's being put, because of the way it's going down, you're not going to want to see it. Like it's not, and it's either tight, so I don't really feel like I need to glue it. So that's good. Now these guys... I could leave it. I mean, you're not going to be able to get them out. They are in there pretty decently without me having to glue them down. So, okay. So, this would be straight on. Like I was saying, this one is long enough for me to make my, um, and I think, yeah, I was debating on putting holes in them, but I just don't know if we're going to see them. I don't know if they're getting in the way. So, we'd glue this on, and I would cut that almost perfectly. So that I knew it had covered because if I try to do it any other way, it's just not going to work. Okay, so that's potentially that one. Anyway, I do have to do that before I glue these down, but let's see how we're doing. And I'll check my time, and then it might be next week. I no, no, I keep saying next week, but it's only Tuesday. It feels later than already this week. Jeez. So we're getting a feel. We're layering it up. Nice accordion effect. If I can do this right. I don't want perfect. I want to make sure some of these are a little differently off. And then this one in the middle again. And that would be the general ordeal. And really, because of the way they're glued down, yes, they all should be a little bit of a poof. They'll lay flat with stuff in them. But you also can sort of, if I do this right, I should accordion to where I should be able to open, pull it all out a little bit, and you should be able to get into each piece. I do like this. I just don't know... I'm going to maybe have to cut it and just sort of like, if I add it in, I'd have to, I don't know, because of all the types. I like the idea of it in there. I'm going to break up a little bit of the, I'm going to have to like, then as I'm gluing it, making sure it's in place as I'm gluing stuff down and tuck accordingly, because it could go like that where, don't move. I do want a little bit of ink on the edges because it is looking a little flat and you're not going to see it. My hands. Hmm. Here, let's do this. I'm like, mm. I probably should be laying this flat. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? But why would I do that? It's not so much getting the edge edges, it's just getting like... I want to get like, oh yeah, edges and not edges, I know. So it's more of like almost an ombre, it's dark and it's working its way in without working its way in. It's the edge edge of the paper if it gets dark, like it was 
you know, distressed, or, well, I just, I'm trying to distress it, yes, but, um, as if, I'm going to have to change that. Oh, that's bad. I'm like, oh, I think it's finally time. Mm. The little 20 pack from either Dollar Tree or Amazon. Ours isn't always life. Well, it doesn't last very long, especially with as much as we do. But it's okay when they're in that expensive. A 20 pack is great. You can go through them every couple days if you need to. Okay. So if I like, okay, that definitely helps. There's some dimension to that now. What do you think? Adding that for our first decorative layer in there, right? It hopefully will not get in the way of anything. I don't have these too far out. This one, I don't have as much of an angle. There's that one there. That's going to have a lace up there. I'm trying to see where to put my fingers down here. Mm. Okay. I mean, and I can do this all I want, and then, of course, go put it all in a place, and, you know, as I'm putting it down, I'm like, ah! And I don't know whether to... i probably work my way up, so that way each piece works within the next one. Otherwise, I'd be guessing, and then I'd be like, oh, I didn't do that right, and it'd be bad. So there's that, and then there's that. I can bring that down a little bit more. So they're about... Everything looks about the same here. So, yeah, we're going to just work our way up. I mean, that's the best I can do, but I like that layer in there. It's a lot of red and brown, so we definitely want to put yellow and green fussy here to pull these colors here. Teal green, teal yellow, something here to pull these colors back to the front. I have to get the teal and the, and the tealy green and a little yellow back here to the front with a fussy cut. Even if I have to sort of craft and create a cluster, um, you know, we're going to have to do that. So that is our accordion stackable bag and envelope ephemera page how much time do we have oh it's an hour and six minutes already wow guys i am so sorry that went a lot farther than i want but look how much we got done i actually have this prepped i will probably literally turn the camera off and come right back on because i know by way this will not survive but you will see this so hopefully you'll see this tonight tuesday night and then keep your eyes open um for a maybe another friday night i know friday's been okay you guys have been a little busy so maybe we'll do a thursday night and then, um, well, we, you know, we'll put this together. You'll see it Thursday night. We'll put this all back together or we'll glue this together in place and we'll start decorating it. And then I can always do, you know, one last decorating or flip through on Sunday or Monday and, um, you know, or some shorts or whatever I want to do, but I'm on a roll and it's quiet and we're going to run with it. So, all right, everyone, thank you so very much. Sorry for the long roll. Did not expect that, but we actually got productive. We actually have something put together. You see what's going on and now it's, now it's just time to make it really pretty and functional. So love you all very, very much. We'll talk to you all very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.